Welcome guys back to another video here at Traders Journey again another update for you guys I hope you guys are enjoying these daily updates and you guys are learning whatever it might be through my videos but um, I'm determined to give you guys these daily updates and um, hopefully any of you new beginners will pick up some new strategies and learn from me as I give down give away my breakdowns and analysis of what's happening in the market so without without uh, any more delays just before we get into this video if you are new to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button drop some likes as it does help me out guys and be sure to follow me on my instagram which is trader journey underscore official which i give out free information and free help so feel free to dm me on my instagram and uh, without any more delays let's get straight into this guys so today was a bit of an interesting day there was no plays for me at all so i made no trades whatsoever um, the whole market seemed to have, to, to have been down and uh, it was a very slow day and there was no clear moves for me to make any trades so I stayed I stayed on cash and I didn't make any trades now what a lot of you need to understand for any new traders there is is completely fine to not make any trades and um, you, you shouldn't be forced to make any trades you should wait for the setups wait for them to happen and if it's a high probability setup you go there you set your stop loss you set the trade if it works out it works out if it doesn't you have your stop loss so you don't blow up your account um firstly guys just in terms of going over the stocks i want to go through apple just momentarily so you guys know i've been playing apple um consecutively over the course of um a few months now since since this uh, break of demand back in july i've been playing these trades and it, it clearly likes this range and it likes to the stock price likes to move close enough around this range so um, what's also interesting to see what's happening in more recent times as of today we obviously saw a bit of a sell-off there in the market and it came as um, no surprise because it did enter the supply zone so I did say in my previous video let's watch closely because it is in the supply zone it'll be interesting to see if it continues to go up or break down and without any surprise it came through and the sellers forced us forced the price to come back down and it's forced the price to come back down into another demand zone so it'll be interesting i mean this particular zone is where we see high we have previously seen high amount of sellers but for me the sell this this selling zone um supply zone and demand zone these two areas seem to fluctuate quite a bit so i am watching it very closely now it has um this was this particular zone was previously a supply zone but as it broke through previously i changed it so it was now a demand zone so it's a bit of a an interesting one as of now i'm still seeing it as a demand zone so i'm expecting the price to either to pop back up or if it breaks through then we should expect a very big move um down to this possible level or even further back down to the initial demand um, as we saw here the previous move when it broke through this particular price area we saw the stock price come all the way back down to the very initial breakout of demand which was which we saw obviously back in july so um i mean if the market decides to crash as well and whole market sentiment seems to be down then we may see this flush all the way back down to previous demand so it'll be interesting i might need to chart up some more demand areas like this area here i've just set this price level um you can see it's ticked across a few candle wicks there so this is seems to be an interesting level so if it was to break through um and judging from when it touched this initial zone before it broke down to that level for me that is going to be a profit target if i see it flush through this area um and I'll probably buy if I, if it does flush clear and there's clear volume then i will buy three contracts wait for it to hit this profit target and then i'll have three sort of profit targets the the biggest profit target will obviously be this demand zone this big four hour demand zone um but i'll just let one one contract run but i'll be setting profit targets so i'll keep you guys posted what happens with that we might see it flush on monday we might see it flush on tuesday but uh, it'll just depend depends what happens if it holds this level if the buyers step in and push the price back up we'll have to wait and see but i won't be placing any trades whilst it's in the zone it has to it has to either come out from the come out from the bottom of this zone or at the top to understand whether it's bullish or bearish for me um so i'll be watching it closely guys so that was the initial update for apple 
Another, another stock which you guys know I'm very interested in and I like to talk about a lot is AMD. I do trade AMD quite a lot. As you can see, it's, it is definitely trading within this range um, and it doesn't seem like it's doing anything at the moment, but it does look set to, to make a bigger move hopefully soon. I, knew, I do know AMD has been upgraded by JP Morgan, so it they have, they have said it's a $120 stock. So I expect, I really do expect um, this to hit, hit the 120. So as soon as it breaks through this area of supply, I expect the stock to fly past 100. And um, I wouldn't be sure when it's going to hit 120, but sometime in the near future, I'd expect the stock to hit 120. It's very bullish and uh, even the institutions are definitely for it as well. So I like to follow the smart money when it comes to these stocks. Um, you can see this is definitely, this is on the four hour chart. So I'm going to go down to the five minute chart just to show you what's happening because you could easily scalp this stock. If you understand these key levels of supply and demand, you could um, potentially look to just scalp this stock in between the range. So as you can see guys, um, when it hit this level supply of supply before, um, the, stock, the stock actually crashed back down to the lowest level in demand, which I've got charted here on the graph. So you can actually see it in play as we speak. This is still live. I finished trading for the day, but you can see it it had a, a major sell off. As soon as it hit supply, it sold off. And um, who knows, we might see that definitely. I, I expect this to definitely come back into this area of demand before we see it come back up again. It's clearly selling off and uh, you could have easily scalped it for a quick profit, especially on Friday. Zero DTE, zero days to expiration contracts, which have um, definitely high risk, high return contract. So you can see it's completely selling off here. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes back into the demand zone. Look, there's a huge sell off that's just happened, guys. This is live, so I'm not making this up. You can see it's gone straight into um, the level of demand. Um, speaking of which, the market's just about to close. So generally, it's, it's just followed through a huge, huge sell off. But uh, buyers should step in at these key areas, which I have as price levels, but it seems to have broken straight through. Um, so who knows if buyers will keep this price up. But like I said, if this particular AMD stock does want to break through this area, this huge area of demand, then I'll be I'll be setting profit targets for puts, guys. And uh, we should in the in the new week, if there's no good news out and uh, my technicals are proving it, we should see this flush. So at the moment, we are seeing a huge sell off for AMD, which is um, just before market close, of course. Um, but let's see if the buyers keep this up. So it'll be interesting one to watch. Um, it looks like the buyers have now stepped in eventually. Um, I didn't have that price level set, but it looks like they've just stepped in in the demand zone, which is perfectly fine. Um, so it looks like buyers this demand zone buyers are stepping in and pushing the price and holding the price up here if buyers were too weak sellers were too too quick with it they and and heavy it could have definitely pushed this through this area and then we would have seen a huge huge flush so um interesting very interesting to see this live as it happens guys but what my point was is that these key areas of supply and demand you could scalp in between this trading range I don't like to do it because I trade um, further out for expiration. I tend not to uh, trade same week expiration contracts. So I would wait for a bigger, bigger move to happen rather than scalping. Um, it's just my strategy for now, but I might change that in the new year as I'm starting a new challenge. Um, but I guess I, get, I, hope that, I hope that makes sense and I don't want to go on too much with the AMD stock, but uh, it's something you could easily scalp in between these ranges if you understand how the stock is moving. Um, it looks like AMD stock, just as we're speaking about it, it looks like it's going to break through. There it is. There it is. Now, if it breaks through this next price level of 95.23, which looks like it's just holding it. Yeah, next week, this should definitely be a play for next week, guys. So I'm going to have to keep you keep you posted on this particular stock. Um, but it looks like it just got saved by that price level, which I have charted. So um, next week, this will be on high watch to see whether we have a sell off before before there's any sort of bull run. 
um but yeah i mean these key levels guys you can easily trade between these levels if you have them set and uh, easily make quick quick money with it so i'll be watching amd guys and we'll keep you posted to see what happens the market is just about to close so this will be an update hopefully for monday and uh, we'll consider what plays are open there for amd and lastly guys the biggest stock which you guys know i've been talking about way too much is amazon i do love trading amazon Ex contracts are expensive returns are really good and the risk is is equally bad but if you um make sure you set your key levels you can be sure to stay safe with the stock now what you can see here guys i did i did expect amazon to fly when it broke the triangle but i have to adapt and you have to adapt when these moves happen and if it doesn't if it doesn't work out you just adapt and you you set up a new set up your new technicals ready for the next move now having adjusted my technicals you can see what seems to be happening here is it's set itself up again within the triangle so i've adjusted my asymmetrical triangle as you can see and it's just made it a bit clearer as to what is actually happening now you can see amazon as soon as it hit this area of supply which i also had to adjust because now for me that is a major level of supply where suppliers have um sellers have control sorry so sellers have control at that key area and which caused this massive sell-off so judging from the triangle judging from this key level we've seen previously when sellers have had control over that area we have seen the price drop all the way back down to 3071 um back down to this area of demand which i have in green so it's a very interesting play which is open i don't have many major key areas sort of dotted on the chart here so i wouldn't be surprised if we see amazon come back to this area of demand before we see it may hit this area spot on on the triangle and then come back up and it, it might just continue to squeeze before we see that huge move we've been waiting for but it's clearly ranging within this specific area guys and it is waiting for a breakout whether that be to the downside or the upside i don't know as yet i'm not biased on either side at the moment it's clearly gonna clearly sellers have control over the over the stock at the moment and they it will be seeing a drop in the price we saw a quick ten dollar drop in the stock this afternoon you'll see that on my instagram but um it's whether or not it will continue to squeeze in this triangle before we see a bigger breakout so that was clearly a fake out which we saw on um earlier in the week it wasn't it wasn't the move we were expecting i didn't enter the trade i stayed on cash because i saw the selling pressure coming in during live trading so it's clear for me that that's obviously one of the indicators i look for before entering the trade it just wasn't there for me i missed the open trade when the market opened i don't generally like to trade the first 10 minutes anyway so we have to sit tight and wait for this trade to set up again and if you wanted to a key a key way of, of potentially trading this in fact is at the break of if it bounced or broke 3158 you could see it flush all the way back down to 3104 as you can see what that's happened previously it didn't actually quite work out when it last sold off which is why i'll set that as a key level because if you were to take this trade you should expect you should easily expect if this breaks through 3158 you should definitely expect it to hit 3130 and that's an easily that's an easy um easy 28 dollar move which is huge and you could see that you could see that over the course of a day two days so you would possibly to be safe take a week two week expiration um for that trade but um it'll be these key price levels are very huge moves you can see that three th on three four occasions as soon as it broke through that price level it broke to the next price level so that's one once it happened on the 12th 17th of november it happened again on the 30th of november it happened on the 8th of december and it happened on the 9th of december so a clear fluctuation in the price and it happened again on the 15th of december so that particular range is a very key area for me on the four hour chart i will if you were, th were thinking of taking that trade i would definitely definitely consider going down to the smaller time frames to see what's actually happening so you can see here guys this is the 30 minute chart and like i said 
already this is a huge huge sell-off area um, and this is a very huge opportunity for anyone considering this trade so below 3158 you will see a direct flush down to 3131 the technicals are saying that obviously you would set your stop loss but it's a clear it's happened once on this is a 30 minute chart by the way it's happened once as soon as it's flushed through that area it's happened once twice three times four times five times so you could play that to the downside if it bounced and you played the trade and it bounced at 3130 you could play it to the upside because you can clearly see there's buyers sitting at that level on the 30 minute chart so it really depends whether you're looking at day trades or you're looking at the bigger picture like i am but there's so many opportunities left here with amazon it clearly looks like it's on the way down back to demand so i'll be keeping another close eye on it at these clear price levels to see if it flushes um, if you watch my Instagram today, you'll notice I did see a, an easy $10 flush. As soon as it came out, came through the triangle, there was a $10 flush, which I called out. And um, these are just quick and easy trades, which you can actually exploit. And um, if you understand the, these technicals, it will be much easier for you to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That's all I really wanted to cover on the channel today. It has been a long video, but I hope you guys have learned something today. If you have, be sure to subscribe, drop me a like and follow me on Instagram for all the latest updates as I'll be starting a new challenge from 3K to 100K for the new year. And uh, that'll be very exciting for you guys to follow. So be sure to stay tuned for that and I shall catch you all on the next video. Take care. Goodbye.